Hello everyone. Today I want to talk to you about seven questions you should ask yourself before you doze off at night and go to sleep. Uh, my name is Lynn Schrader and I empower men and women to step outside of their self-imposed comfort zone and begin living a life that they could have never imagined. Um, I love to ignite a fire and a passion in people who are ready for a change. Uh, again, today's video is seven questions you should ask yourself before you go to bed. Now, I know if you're like me, you're thinking, oh, I gotta do more things before I go to bed. Yes, you should. Um, and it takes time, but this is so important and it's so easy. What I've done is I've actually put these on little post-it notes near my bed or on my mirror. And I'll tell you what happens is after you do it over and over and over, you're going to start asking you these questions, yourself these questions without realizing it. Um, am I perfect at this? Absolutely not. I am a work in progress. If you've watched any of my videos, you know that I say that all the time. I don't have it right, but I definitely do introspection and try to grow personally all the time. In fact, I, um, I coach people on this all the time. It's this uh, taking a step in the right direction, trying to figure yourself out why you behave the way you do and stepping, taking a step in the right direction. So seven questions to ask yourself before you go to bed. The first one, in no particular order, by the way. Number one, have you loved fully? Have you loved fully? That's a heavy question, isn't it? Have you told those people that are so important in your life, those loved ones, those friends, family, uh, children, parents, spouses, uh, a spouse, have you told them how valuable they are to you? How your life would not be the same if they were not in it, how you don't expect them to be perfect, but you love them anyway. Have you loved fully and told those people that you love how important they are to you? That's the first question. If you haven't, then you need to consider doing that the next day. We are not guaranteed a next day, are we? We're not. And again, I'm going to tell you that I'm speaking to myself in this video. I promise you I am. Number two. Number two is have I lived fully. Number one was, have I loved fully? Number two is, have I lived fully? Have I lived fully? Have I taken risk? Have I tried new things? Uh, Jim Rohn has a quote and he says, if you are not willing to take the risk of the unusual, then you will have to settle for the ordinary. Now, Please know that I'm not saying you need to be rich and famous and live this uh, life behind the camera, in front of the camera, whatever. No, 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 no. But have you settled for ho-hum? Have you settled and, says, and said, this is as good as it gets? Let me tell you something. It, this is not as good as it gets. You were made for a purpose. You were made for exceptionality. You were made for greatness. So don't settle. Try new things. Live fully. Ask yourself that before you go to bed. Have I lived fully today? Number three, number three is have I made a difference? Have I made, have I, have I made one person's life richer or more, more than one person, but have I made a difference? Did I stand up for what I believe in? Did I help or serve or assist somebody? Did I hold the door open? Did I smile at somebody? Did I give a compliment? Did I listen? Did I leave a room, maybe a bathroom, maybe a break room? Did I leave it better looking than I than it was when I got there? Have I made a difference in one person's life or in my world? Ask yourself that before you go to bed. Have I made a difference? Number four. Number four is what's the best thing that happened today? What's the best thing that happened? Now, let me tell you, if you've watched any of my videos, I've mentioned this before, but I have a text thread going with my three sons. One lives in the house with me, so he's usually in the next room when he gets the text. But the other two are at colleges that are out of state. They're very far from me, so we stay connected by text. And I have a text thread that has been going on for over a year, I think. I never erase it. They probably do. But every night before bed, I tell them, I love you. I miss you. I am so glad you're in my life. Whatever. And then I always end it like this. Give me at least one great thing that happened in your world today. 
I always end it like that. And of course I add emojis and act all goofy and they roll their eyes, but what am, what am I doing? I'm showing them that their glass is always half full. It's really overflowing. Uh, and as we have this attitude of gratitude, things get easier. What went right in your day? Here's something sobering. What we focus on expands. What we focus on expands. Are we gonna focus on the negativity and be a negative Nelly, a negative Ned, um, a Susie Weiner? Or are we gonna be grateful and we're gonna have that expand? So what's one thing that you can be, uh, that, that went right today? What's the best thing that happened in your day? And if you start doing that with your kids or the little people in your world, they're gonna, they're gonna make a habit of that. At number five, what could I have done better? What could have I done better? Um, what did you learn about yourself? What insight did you learn? Were you impatient? I know I was today. Uh, did you frown instead of smile? Did you, were you critical of people instead of being complimentary? Um, were you anxious about something? What did you learn about yourself today? Don't live your life on autopilot. Feel it. What did you learn today? What did you, what do you, what, what, what happened today that you need to learn? And maybe they're good things. Maybe you were patient. Maybe you did smile. What did, what, what happened today? But more importantly, what could be done better? Number six, what do I want my tomorrow to look like? And here's what I mean by this, and this could be dangerous. Here's what I mean by it, first of all, is it's important to visualize what you want your tomorrow to look like. If you have a meeting, what are you gonna wear to the meeting? If you have um, something to do tomorrow, is it on your calendar? What do you, what, what do you want, what's on your agenda? Now this could be a little dangerous to do at night because all of a sudden your wheels are turning. Oh my gosh, I got a meeting, I gotta do this. Don't freak out, but sometimes to visualize yourself and start with focus before the day even starts is a good thing. So take that with a grain of salt, but know that you can start focusing on what's going on tomorrow so you don't just fly by the seat of your pants. That really doesn't help, does it? Number seven, what made me smile today? What made me smile? Laughter really is, really is great medicine. Did you know that uh, dopamine, endorphins, and serotonin are all released when we smile? It's a good thing, it's healthy. So when they say laughter and smiling is the best medicine, you want dopamine, endorphins, and serotonin to be released because here's what that does. That relaxes your body and it lowers your blood pressure. We don't need to be walking around with high blood pressure. No, 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 no. So what made you smile today? You know what makes me smile? Almost every day I come across some little kids, whether it's in the grocery store or in the gym or, or wherever, and kids make me smile. They make me smile. They, I love kids. Maybe that's why I was a teacher. But what made you smile today? If you didn't smile today, ask yourself that question tonight. Why didn't I smile today? and try to be around things that get you to smile. Number eight, last one. What moved you today closer to your goal? What moved you closer to your goals? Do you have, and by the way, forward movement can be big or small, so what happened today, even if it was a little bit, that moved you closer to your goal? If, if you have a goal of losing weight, yet you didn't, take a walk or you didn't um, you know, get your heart rate up or you didn't watch what you uh, are ingesting. If you didn't do those things, then that's something that you should do to get you closer to your goal. If you uh, are, are in search of a new job, you are ready for a change. Did you get the application out? Did you make that phone call to have coffee with that friend? Did you do something that made you closer to that goal of getting a new job? Uh, if your goal is to pay off a debt, a student loan, a house payment, a car payment, did you contact that person about the side gig or the side job that they've been asking and offering you? I talk to people about that all the time. Did you do something that gets you closer, gives you your plan B closer to your goal? These are all questions 
that I came up with to ask yourself before your head hits the pillow. Why? Why ask yourself questions? Well, do you want to live your life on purpose? Do you want to wake up from accidental living? Do you want to make a difference? I hope your answer is yes to all of those. Get to know you. What makes you tick? What is your purpose in this world? I guarantee you it was not, it was not to take breaths, go through your daily grind, and then one day pass away. You are here for a purpose. You are here to bring value to your world, to your life, to your family, to your community. So wake up from accidental living, live your life on purpose, and begin asking yourself questions like this before your head hits the pillow. You don't even have to, uh, yes, they're gonna start out as sort of a to-do, but after a while you're gonna do these regardless. It's great to not live. That's a double negative. It's great to live on purpose. So wake up from accidental living. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you got any value out of this and you think it would be perfect for somebody, please share it with another person. I love to pay it forward. Then finally, if, uh, if you want to check out any more blogs that I do, uh, I do a lot of videos and I do a lot of blogs. They're all on my website, lynnschrader.com. And finally, if you would like to uh, talk to me about uh, something that's going on in your world, uh, I'd love to, to do that. So just uh, shoot me a private message and I will give you a link to a Calendly uh, calendar that I have and you and I can hop on the phone and we can discuss. Have a great day. Thank you so much for watching.